Hello, just doing a lengthy guitar review on this uh, Gibson Double Neck SG uh, 1275 model. And I can't afford a $4,000 double neck, so this particular one's made in China. Uh, I got it from Alibaba. I got this site up here. Uh, dealt with a fellow named Dan. I think it's uh, the Beijing Filong Company or something like that. But basically, I think there's an importer exporter, and more really exporter, I would suppose. And uh, they get these from the factory and ship them off to you. Um, it's okay. It's got a few problems and stuff, though. I'll go through that. Uh, paid three hundred and thirty dollars for it, and I got a case which I don't have in the room here, but it's a full rectangular case fitted to a double neck. Um, the handle is kind of weak on it, so I'll probably fix that up. But it was an extra one hundred and ten dollars, so a uh, pretty good deal. You can get an Epiphone uh, who don't make these anymore. Epiphone doesn't. Uh, currently sell the double neck uh, for about a thousand dollars on eBay uh, for a used one so uh, pretty good deal if you want to get into one for four hundred fifty dollars with case uh, it's all there so you can get kits as well but the kit alone might be that much I'm not sure I'm looking into getting a kit but after I picked up the guitar it did play and uh, function okay but since then I've put around easily over eight hours into to get it the way kind of I want it. Um, I'm starting the headstock here, so the strings that come with them aren't very good. They have some uh, oily coating on them, some sort of uh, petroleum product that keep from rusting. So I just cleaned up the 12 strings, I just kind of uh, wiped them down with some uh, cleaner and replaced the six strings with a new set of Ernie balls. Um, the tuners are okay, a couple are crooked. One's overly crooked, this guy here. So, he's all bent on shape here. The rest are okay, considering there's uh, 18 of them, it's not too bad. And they're all tight except for one. The B string on the six string is, uh, you have to turn it about half turn before it'll engage either way. So I'll probably end up replacing that one soon. It's hanging in there right now, and I'll kind of hold the tune, but uh, it does have issues. The necks are okay. There's a, uh, let's see, a scarf joint on both. I can't quite see it. It's hard to see, but is there, there's this one. Imagine this one would be about the same area. So they're not a totally solid neck. Uh, when the guitar came, it had been dropped somewhere. It's got a ding in it. I'm gonna find it right there. So it hadn't dropped uh, during when it was being made or after the fact, I don't know. This neck's not too bad. A nice profile, nice uh, shallow deep profile, a uh, nice wide neck. They aren't thin or, and they're straight, uh, all frets are straight and even, uh, no high frets at all. So good that way and they're set right into the body. Um, the bridge height's good on both 12 and 6 strings, so uh, set properly. Uh, the nut was okay. The 12 string was actually low and perfect. I didn't do anything to that. Uh, the 6 string is actually still a little bit high even. But I've already taken it down a lot. So it was high to the point where you can play it. But I mean, it's high. You'd have to like uh, kind of think about playing it. It's uh, so much movement from the string to the, to the fret. Uh, the pickups were okay. This originally usually originally came with four chrome cover humbuckers, but uh, I see on the Jimmy Page one it has uh, two open co cover ones, uh, two black ones. So I got these out of an Ibanez guitar. I have another video on the wiring for this thing, and I show the original guitar for these two. So they work fine. And then um, the original two that came out of the six string. There's one of them here. This is, this is the bridge. And it's got wax on the bottom of it, so it looks like it was wax potted. Uh, but I can show you later in the video, the 12 string right now will squeal quite badly once you turn up the volume. 
So that's that. Uh, this 12 string bridge is okay. I didn't touch that. I replaced the original 16 bridge. I had a roller bridge hanging around, so I put it on there. I had to modify a bit these uh, the anchor bolt, the anchor nuts here uh, protrude a bit from the body, so I had to. It wouldn't go down far enough, so I had to grind the bottom of the roller bridge a little bit to get them to go down all the way. The guards are okay. I had to file this one out. Just took a file and. Uh, Made it fit the pickup bezels a bit better. Even with the original bezels, they, they wouldn't quite fit right. Uh, the screws here are very short. So, you know, a turn and a half and the pickup's out uh, on each screw. So, something else to watch for. Um, what else? Oh, it looks like after they finished buffing it, they just kind of put the covers on and then cleaned it off. So, as soon as you take the covers off, there's a whole bunch of buffing paste under there, polishing paste. Um, it originally came with a tone, tone, volume, volume, but uh, the next one switch, um, you had to turn the volume off on a neck to play the other neck, and then turn it on and the other neck off to switch necks. So I put a, uh, let's see, six string off, 12 string switch it. Uh, I was going to put another one of these in, so it would be like 6 string, both, 12. But it doesn't really make sense, and this way, if things go wrong, you can just go to middle position and the whole guitar shuts off, so it's like a kill switch almost. So 6, 12, or off. Um, did that, uh, rewired it all. Oh, actually, I left some of the original wiring in this section. It was all good, fairly good quality wire, uh, all... Um, Shielded wire all the way through. Uh, I reused original pots again. They're 500 ohm pots. Low quality, of course. I uh, can't really get a name brand off them, but they seem to work fine, not scratchy, and they seem to work. I uh, left the same capacitor in. It's a bit dull, I don't know, but uh, you probably noticed by now, or maybe not, but big problem with this guitar is they've set the pickups too far ahead from the bridge. There's quite a space in here. Should be, you know, only about a finger space. There's a good two finger space in there, and so it's kind of like playing the middle pickup on a Stratocaster. You're kind of pushed a bit far, far forward, so you don't get the real trebly sounds, even though it does sound good, especially on the 12 string where you get the the oh sorry, the double string. It'll really chime out, so it's fine, it works okay, but that's definitely a flaw in the, the whole, you know, that you need right. You need the routers, the routing uh, pockets all done correctly, and these are wrong, so that's a kind of a big problem. The scale length is good. It's a 24 and 3 quarter, uh, same as Gibson. It seems to have the right amount of frets from what I've seen on in pictures and other videos. So it's a pretty good guitar for 400 bucks. I, there's no way I could make one for this much. Uh, I could get a kit, put a bit more time into it, and have a really nice one, you know, with better pickups and all that stuff. Well, I'm also going to change out all four pickups eventually because the it's really uh, feeding back, but, uh, and you'd have a good guitar if you build your own, but, uh, this is kind of nice. For this, this much money, with case, actually, if you want to get a guitar alone, then you look at 300 and then also comes all decked up with Gibson, and the fake Gibson, uh, owner's manuals and stuff like that. So, pretty good. The back's pretty good. Looks to be all one piece, but there definitely is sections of other wood in here, I'm gonna find one. Yeah, different pieces of wood in the body, so it's, uh, I think about three pieces joined together, so it's not all one solid piece, it's, uh, it does have a solid veneer on it, which actually looks pretty good, it's a nice pattern, no knots, looks pretty good. Uh, some faults, you can see, I'll get the light right, it's all rippled through there, there's a light there, yeah, see the ripple in there, so, but I mean, for three hundred dollars, a double neck guitar that functions, and you can build up to as good as you want it to be. It's a pretty good deal. So, a uh, good alternative. Other choice was to get like a BC Rich a Bitch Body. I think Music One Two Three had them for about four hundred bucks for a blemish or a damaged one, and then fix that. So, it was actually. A better design because uh, when you 
tune these strings here, you have to use just your fingers to get in there and slowly wind them bit by bit. You can't get a, a winder in there and a crank up the, the string. So replacing the strings on the 12 string, uh, these strings here and six strings, EAD is a pain in the ass. So, but yeah, it's just the design and it, you get the original Jimmy Page look and stuff like that. Okay, I'll have a play in demo after this. Oh, I want to show the the screw up with the pickups. So just have a two Marshall 4x12s, one there, one behind me, uh, running in stereo. But it's enough to give the give the guitars uh, feedback here. Volume three. Let's see what. I'm so there's six string, no feedback. That's really loud. There's 12 string. There we go. There we go. Instantly feeds back and takes your eardrums out. So let's turn that off. Come on here. Silent. So yeah, uh, looks like these pickups are not wax potted, or if they are, they're not done correctly. Okay, have a great day. Oh, uh, truss rod adjustment was good, and they are under there. Nothing like that. It's not like a, a pretend guitar. Nothing at all. Functions, everything in it functions, but definitely some things to do when you first get it. Um, you just sit down and try to start playing it. String height's bad. The switching's bad, and. Uh, I guess that's about it on oh, the strings themselves or need to be replaced so you start to spend a few hours on it when you first get it and uh, get to the point that you want to have that. Okay have a great day. Goodbye.
Then I'd rather be high.